And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? up next it's a ufc heavyweight division collision seven foot kareem abdul jabbar to stay undefeated right if you could do that you could do anything i fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once but i fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times bruce lee in a nutshell just so wise ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 207 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Good punch. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Switching stances here. Head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's it going to follow this Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just missed on the front kick there. Get those combinations going. Huge block there. Oh, nice. Nice. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. 
Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Keep moving. Protect your face, Head kick blocked. Big power punch land. Now we get back to range. He missed with that jab attempt there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice right hand, John. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, misses with the jab. Big leg kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he lands the knee to the body now. Not there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Clicks the guard, lands the right hand. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Ooh, big shot land. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, and he caught the kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets caught with that punch. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he goes for the counter right just out of range. Big punch from the clinch. Powerful leg kick lands. Ten seconds to go. Great punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Good round. Time. High Great. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I will tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. 
This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lee gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now connects with a right. Well, you gotta think he's happy with his performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Got clip with a right hand. Nice kick. Back and forth we go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, Superman punch lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, he is really starting to pick up where he left off in round one, getting that hook of his going here in round two. And as much as you want to credit the offensive fighter, defensive fighter hasn't made anything in terms of a significant adjustment. Well, he's trying to defend himself in the base type of defense, high guard. But now his opponent is just wrapping that hook around his arm to land over and over again. Now it's up to him to recognize to change the defenses or do something different in his approach. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big head kick lands. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Just out of range with that strike. And he landed the right hand there. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Right hand landed. Real nice body kick lands. Just missing on the uppercut there. 
big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of doing his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. That shot blocked by Lee. Flush right hand is true. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looping left hand misses the target. Nice punch here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws and more often than not, he lands just like he did in the previous round, found a home for it again. Found a home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Got the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. Well, he continues. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. How about that chin? Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore. Right. Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, big head kick. Oh, home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize the position high. And now he's got hurt bad. Just misses with the punch by Lee. And they separate. And now he's got that tight. 15 seconds. He lands a big knee to the body. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Punch over the top. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ooh, what a punch. Big head kick lands. The next with a right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, big punch, man. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai front. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice leg kick lands. Good stick. Another leg kick lands. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus men in his opponent. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Oh! So that just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. It perfectly, perfect place, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, huge elbow then. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent oh. right here in the back. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow in the punch. Straight punch lands. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Liver kick. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water. So right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Ooh, what a punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Wow. And there comes the separation now. Big kick land. Counters with a hook to the body. Strong work on the feet by Lee. Final seconds here. Nice punch land over the top. Try to establish that jab. 
All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Fourth cover. Big punch lands through the middle. Superman punch. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice. Good pressure. Keep going with that. Big kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he got the Superman punch. Straight right, he misses. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Beautiful body. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't see Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. That is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pound. Nice body kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big head kick. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Seconds to go in the fight. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to his feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lunges forward with a left there.
Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh.